Do you need another key or remote fob for your GMC vehicle? Or maybe it's a Cadillac, Chevy, Buick, Oldsmobile, any of the ones that all kind of fall in that Chevy GM lineup. Well, I've got a solution for you. I'm Mike with Tom's Key Company. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use the equipment we provide on our website, tomskey.com, to make another key or remote fob for your vehicle. Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating on this GMC Yukon. Now, you can come to our website and place an order. In this case, there's a programmer that would come. We're gonna be making two new fobs today and using our awesome key by photo technology, this key gets cut at our shop before it ships to you so you can program it to your vehicle. Now I do want to point out you must have one working key that starts your vehicle in order to use our do-it-yourself services. So we can help you make spare keys uh, and fobs. If you have the unfortunate situation of having lost all your car keys, I'm sorry. I'm also excited to let you know that we have a new partnership that may be able to help you. Go to our website, find the All Keys Lost page, and get some help there. You do not need a working fob in order to make more fobs for your vehicle. So let's take a look. Let me show you just how easy this is to do. All right, before you begin, get out of your vehicle, look around down by your gas and brake pedal until you find this OBD2 port. It's usually somewhere up along the top here. Occasionally it might be tucked behind a little plastic panel or flap. So pay attention to the orientation. There's a little dot, a little bump here. You'll have to reach down once you're in the car to plug this in. To make it easier, you can add on a little extension cable to your order. And then you can plug it in before we begin programming. I recommend you read through this instruction manual. Uh, watch this video a couple times, get familiar with the process. There's some important notes here, like making sure your vehicle battery's in good condition. So uh, turn off the headlights, turn off the HVAC. We don't want to drain the battery while we're doing programming. Uh, so read through those and then find your vehicle and figure out what the primary dial position is. In this case, we're work working on a Yukon. It's a number one and number eight is the alternate dial position. Turn the dial position to number one. The vehicle is turned off and I'm in the car. All the doors are closed. Now. Here's our original remote. It's falling apart with the case. We're gonna be programming two new remotes today. And we're also programming a key. So I'm gonna take my working key, I'm putting it in the ignition and turning two clicks to the on position. All the lights will light up on the dashboard, but do not start the engine. All right, now pay attention because there are timing requirements. So if you go too slow, you may need to repeat the process. This is set up on dial position number one. I'm gonna plug it in. I'll hear two beeps to begin. There's the two beeps. I didn't even have to push this button, so don't be confused by that. There, now it played a tune. After that tune, I can take my remote and hold down lock and unlock for about 15 seconds. There, I heard it beep. Now I'll take my second one. I'm gonna hold down lock and unlock for about 15 seconds. You may notice on your dashboard that it says remote key learning active. My new key fobs have been programmed. I'll remove the key. I'm gonna unplug the easy installer. Before you test these, it's a good idea to start the engine, turn it on, open the car door, shut the door, turn off the engine. Now let's check our remotes. So here's our new fobs, let's give them a try. The fob number one works, the fob number two works, and our original one still works as well. And just for fun, uh, we can check the alarm. All right, let's check the remote start. There we go. Just like that, new fob's been programmed. And that was not very hard. You can do this yourself without any trouble. To save you the time and hassle of driving all around trying to find a hardware store, a locksmith, or a car dealership to cut your new key, we created our Key by Photo service. After you place the order, make sure you take three photos with your phone directly above the key when it's sitting flat so that the Key by Photo technology can do its magic and get your new key cut to arrive fitting your vehicle. So I've got my original key 
uh, original fob. This is on with the tile key finder. You may want to pick one of these up. Uh, pairs to your smartphone so that you always can find your keys. And here's a new key that's been cut with our key by photo technology. It's not programmed to the vehicle, but we're going to show you how easy that is right now. With my original working key, put it in the ignition, watch the security light until it turns off. Once the security light turns off, you're going to take out your original key, put in the new key, and turn it two clicks to the on position. Don't start the engine, watch that security light. Once it turns off, this key's programmed. Okay, there, it's turned off. So it's programmed and it should start the engine. So if you don't wanna pay an arm and a leg to the car dealership to make new keys and remotes for your vehicle, come check us out, tomski.com. We've got tons of vehicles listed on our website and we're always working to add more do-it-yourself car key and remote fob programming solutions. That includes push-button start vehicles as well as turnkey start like I've just demonstrated. Now we back all our stuff with a 100% money back guarantee so if it doesn't work for you make sure you reach out to us help at Tom's Key Company and if we can't solve the problem ship it all back you get your money back. It's that easy. We also provide amazing customer service so we want to take care of you there's a phone number you can call if you run into problems when you're using the programming device. At Tom's Key Company, we believe you shouldn't be paying rip-off prices to make a spare key or fob for your vehicle. So please, leave a comment down below if you've got a quote from some dealership or locksmith that was crazy expensive, and let people know how much money you're saving using Tom's Key Company and our do-it-yourself solutions. Please remember to subscribe and smash the like button so that YouTube will help share this video with other people that are looking to solve a problem just like you are. And it'll make it easier when you need to come back and find this video after you've placed your order and the products have arrived. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a comment below about your experience using our products to make more keys and remotes for your vehicle. Thanks and have a great day.